Hello citizens of the world. In today's mini drawing series, let's talk about what you need to prepare in order to start your drawing journey. Now I understand a lot of people would like to start right away. Many deem the basics boring and only wanted the end results. However, there are certain things you need to set up properly so that when you start to practice, you don't have to redo the same thing again. The most fundamental and general idea of drawing on a platform is to understand your tools. Same as physical, digital had their tools, equipment and usage for different purpose as well. The more you understand each button and what it does, the easier it is for you to produce desired results. As such, the first thing you need to do is understand what tools you are going to use for drawing. Now in Clip Studio Paint, Pencil, Ink and Brush are the most common three equipment that you will use in majority of your art. We will not dive into each individual tools and what it does today, but in general, knowing these three buttons is the start of how you draw. In each mode, there's a property tools, brush size, and a variety of different pen, brush, or pencils, which allows you to adjust and use appropriate pen, pencils, or brush. My suggestion to brush size would be 1, 3, and 10. Of course, these are mostly personal opinion and you can test by yourself to see which size you like the most. In general, size 1 and 3, I would use them as sketch, while size 10 is mostly used as a guideline for posts and other stuff. You don't have to memorize all the function right now, but in general, the most important thing is picking the default tool so that you can start immediately. Once you are comfortable doodling on a white layer, your next task is to set up for your training journey. Now since I've mentioned in my previous video that I've decided to pick Matty painting as one of my main while character pose as second, my main setup for Matty will first be training scenery composition. For this, you will have to set up small sketch panels and save your main copy. Remember to not paint on the layer that you have created the setup on. As for every practice, I suggest you to start a new layer. One of the most underrated but useful feature is layer. The problem with majority of the beginners is that we consistently forget about layers and would always paint the same thing on one layer. When we realize we need to change, that is when having only one layer costs us more time to delete and redo. In general, not everything you need to create a layer for it, but in practice, you would have to remember how much time you would spend on specific parts of the drawing. For landscape, I've roughly followed Noah Bradley's Art Camp, which titled The Fundamentals of Landscape, which I will provide the link below. Moving on to the second section, which is character posting. On this, the setup would be much easier as well, since Clip Studio Paint itself already provided a video guide on this feature, which is using their 3D models to pose for your reference. This is very useful for beginners who do not know how pose work and would need or require to sort of trace in order to get the correct pose. So having all the fundamentals set up, you will be ready to practice. I hope everyone stay creative and innovative. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.